Hey guys, it's Spitfire again today, and once again I want to thank everybody for subscribing. Check out my other videos. Um, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I don't care. Um, today what I'm going to be doing is, uh, if you watched my video I posted the other day, I talked about my Logan uh, 922, and I got a kind of a crappy sp spider out on the end of my spindle, and I got four bolts, but these are just plain old bolts and what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how I put little brass tabs on the end of these bolts so when I screw them down onto my barrel I don't mar the barrel because this is I think this is a grade 5 uh, I, I don't know if it's stainless I think it might be a stainless bolt but anyways these guys would mar the crap out of your barrel or your piece or whatever you're working on so let's show you how to do this Alright, first things first. What I got going on here is this is nylon lock nut. And you don't necessarily need a lock nut, but you need something to hold that guy in the end so we can kind of keep it centered. Alright, so we have our nut just a little bit past the edge of our bolt. And our flats line up on our bolt. So we'll cinch that guy down. And then we're going to come in here and face this guy off. Alright. So all we're going to do here is face this guy off. So I'll crank off my lathe. And all I want to do is just get a square, square end for my new brass piece to fit onto. You don't need to cut a whole lot off. Alright, good enough. So next process is we'll come in here with a center drill and center drill this guy. Alright. So I'm cutting up just the edge of my camphor on my center drill. And we'll back this guy out and we'll figure out what size bit we want to use. Alrighty, for all you visual guys out there, which if you're like me, you like to see things, <clears throat> here's the end of our bolt. Um, what we're going to do is this bolt, it's a 5 16 so it's 345 thousandths, top to top top of thread to top of thread. What we're going to do is we're going to come in here with a 153 thousandths bit, drill in a little bit. Um, I don't know how far we're going to go, maybe a quarter inch or so, we'll say. We don't have to go in very far. And then what we're going to end up doing is um, this guy right here is going to be our little brass cap that will fit in here and then we'll have a brass cap on the end of here. Now the trick of this, the trick to this is having flat here, perfectly square there, and then making this shank of this brass piece tight enough to fit snugly in here without flying out. Um, you know, a little bit of a press fit is good, but you don't want it loose. So, you know, when this guy is clamped down on a barrel, got our barrel out here or whatever you know that's going to be holding that guy in uh, the only time you got to worry about when it's flying out is well if the lathe is running but theoretically you should have centrifugal force pulling that guy back that way too so um, you want it to be a relatively snug fit all right i'm gonna throw a little oil on here so we can cut something and i'm just going to use the you know approximate quarter inch mark on my tail stock. So I can't remember if this is stainless or what it is, but it's kind of tough cutting. Let's see how far we've gone here. Put a little more oil on here. Working backwards. So let's just double check where we started. So I'm about an eighth inch now. This might be a chrome bolt too. If it is chrome, it's going to be harder than hell. I can't remember if I got chrome or not. It's either stainless or chrome. And there's a 
quarter inch. All right, so what we got going now is we got our bolt all finished up. You just got to do uh, three more of those guys for your spider, and then you're good to go. And next step is we'll find a little hunk of brass here, measure that guy out, and spin her out. <clears throat> Alrighty, as you can see here, I have a, I think this is a 7 eighths or 3 quarter, I think it's a 7 eighths, um, not 3 quarter piece of brass stock. Anyways, way too much material, but I have it handy, so. Uh, once again, my bolt diameter is 340, actually 360 something to the top of these threads, so what I cut this guy is at 325. I'm hoping that I should be able to get down past my threads. And looks pretty good. I don't know, three five eight five sixteenths thread depth is usually forty something. So I might take it down a little further. Um, and then we'll cut our little inch fifty three shaft to fit inside there and then we'll part it off. You're gonna mark quarter inch. A little under, close enough. Eight. We're getting closer. or three sixteenths. Alright. There we go, job done. Alrighty, there's the finished product after all my little my little lathe problems there. Um, I haven't taken this guy off yet, but see there we go threads through my bolt nicely which means it'll thread through my spindle just perfect and it's a nice tight fit so what we end up with here is a hard bolt with a soft brass little tip on it or cap on it so like I said before when we cramp, clamp down on our barrel it's not going to mar the finish on that guy so there you go, four more, or sorry, three more to do, and then I'll have my uh, spider bolts all capped off. So there you go. If you like my videos, please subscribe, share them, comment, ask me questions. I don't care, do whatever you want to do. Like them, hate them. I prefer you like them, but. Um, so till next time, shoot often, shoot a lot if you shoot. Um, be safe in your tools and machinery, and check out my other videos. Till next time, see you guys later. Thanks.